Howdy folks, Ed here. Welcome back to Bono's Garage. And today I'm with the donor. It has been a long time since I've been out here looking at this thing. It has been sitting out on my lot for about three years, just sitting here under the sun. Now, when we left off, I had fogged the engine. If you don't know what that means, it means there's an oil that you put inside called a fogging oil. You put that down inside all the cylinders, run it around a few times and make sure that it coats the cylinder walls real well. And you do that to make sure that no rust or corrosion gets in there if the engine's gonna sit for a while. Well, this thing has sat for three years. And today, I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna see exactly what kind of damage has been done in that three years with fogging oil applied to the engine. And to help me with that, I've got this brand new endoscope from Vivor. Now, to be fair, they sent that to me. They asked me to do a review on it. And I figured what better way to do a review on an endoscope than to get back down inside this engine and see what kind of damage has been done. So we're gonna do that today. Stick around. So before we get into this, let me tell you a little bit about this boroscope camera from Vivor because that's one of the reasons I'm here. They sent this to me for free in return for a review of it. And uh, so, you know, it's uh, far beyond me to refuse free stuff. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my uh, honest opinion of this. And it's actually really good, guys. Uh, so last time I did this project, I used a computer laptop with a boroscope that was like a USB plug and it goes in and it was, I was balancing the laptop on top of the engine and trying to get video and doing all this stuff. This thing has all that built in. There's an SD card in there. It takes video and pictures. Um, the the screen is right there. This just plugs right in. It's USB charged. It's, it's really great. And one of the things I really like about it is it's got three cameras on it. So there's a camera on this end and a camera on this end and over here. So side to side, right? You get a camera both all three ways. And that's really going to help me out going inside of here. So this is actually the cheapest one that they make on Vivo. It's like 60 bucks. Uh, use a link in my description to get 5% off. And yeah, you know, I, I have used endoscopes uh, with my phone. Right, so I've got a, a, a Samsung phone that I use for, as for videoing right now. Um, and those are always kind of rough because you got to get the right software, the right app, and they're, you know, they're all different kind of, I've got like two or three of them in the garage. They're all different kind of apps that you got to use with them. And sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. This is really plug and play. You know, I, I, I can't say enough good things about it. For 60 bucks, it really is worth your time to check it out. So, uh, you know, I'll get into it. I'll take some video with it. You can see the quality of the video and uh, we'll get in and, and take a look at it. So, all right, enough about this. Let's take a look inside these cylinders. I am super interested to see what it looks like in there. So one quick thing about this, guys, is uh, I've already got a video on how to fog an engine. Uh, I can't really get into any more detail than that video gives. It's really, really simple to do. You just need some fogging oil and a spark plug wrench, and uh, that video goes into how to do it. So, uh, you know, go ahead and check that video out if you need to figure out how to do this. Uh, since I already have a video about it, I'm not going to get into it. I'm just going to open this up and take a look. Spark plugs are still wet. Hopefully that's oil. Oh, it smells like oil. All right, all the spark plugs are out. Now is the moment of truth. Let's take a look. All right, so we're gonna fire up my Vivo endoscope here. Oh, we're upside down. <laughs> That's because of this thing here. Uh, there we go. And you can kind of see it. And we'll get down inside. I'll start the recording and we'll see what it looks like. Okay. 
Should we be recording? Hello. Oh. Hello. <laughs> All right. We got to turn the light on. Hello, light. There it is. Okay. Now let's take a look down inside of here. Oh, that, that cylinder looks like it's pretty much up top. Yeah, you can kind of see where I scraped on there. It looks pretty wet in there still. It's hard to tell cylinder number two or the second one. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so you can see those cylinder walls are in pretty good shape still in there. Let's uh, let's flip this to a side view. And you can clearly see the cross hatch on that cylinder wall. And there's the other side. Oh, wow, with that side view, you can even see inside the valves. That is cool, man. I didn't expect to, to see that. That's neat. Man, those cylinder walls look good, don't they? And then back down, all right. Let's try the next one. Oh yeah, it looks pretty good. Trying to, oh, look at that, okay. Can you see the, there's a valve top up there. Let's go to the other side. Yep, it, it almost got it. There we go. See, there are lights on the side of this and the front. Dude, guys, you know, I, they're not paying me for this. They really are for 60 bucks. This thing is really cool. I didn't expect to be able to see the valves like this in here. That's great. And next. Yeah, cylinder looks pretty good. Piston head looks pretty good. Cylinder walls look nice and clean. There's my valves. One of them anyway. Now I don't know enough to know which one's intake and which one's exhaust, so sorry about that guys. Uh, I keep saying it, I'm not an expert. So it's a little bit tricky to maneuver. And it's kind of hard to see, to know what you're looking at sometimes with this. All right, there's one side. We'll go check the other one. Yeah, it looks like there's actually still a little bit of oil sitting down there. I don't think that's corrosion. I think that's just a layer of oil that's kind of, it's old, right? It's been here for three years, so. It's going to be a little gunky. Oh, look at that. So, so far, my only real gripe about this camera is that it's kind of hard to get a feel for which buttons change to which direction. Ooh. Oh, this one's close to the top. That's what's going on there. So this flips back and forth, and this button flips front and side. And it's kind of not super intuitive because they're just arrow buttons. Look at that.
But other than that, in terms of like quality, oh, that's right on top of there. In terms of quality and what it can do, That's pretty impressive. And I gotta say that it looks to me like the cylinder walls in this thing are just gorgeous. Look at that. I mean, this engine has been sitting out here in the New Mexico sun uncovered for three years. Pretty impressive. All right, guys, now for the real test. 15 16th on a breaker bar. Let's see if this puppy will turn. Ugh. Oh, yeah. That's nice and smooth. I should have got a ratchet. Come on, get in there, you. There we go. Oh. 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 Well, the engine is smooth. The pulley's out here, not so much. But yeah, that moves nice. All right, guys, there you go. I feel like I accomplished a couple of really great objectives with this video. First of all, I verified that this engine still turns three years later, and I confirmed that fogging an engine is a great way to make sure that it stays in tip-top shape while it's in storage. And secondly, I confirmed my contractual obligation to Vivor, so I get to keep this cool piece of kit. Guys, this thing is awesome. I'm telling you, you see the video, right? It's amazing what this thing can do. I love the camera on either side. That is so handy. This little uh, handheld dealy that I have to go out and get my phone or hook it up to a laptop or whatever, guys, I'm being serious. These guys aren't paying me, they're not, right? But they reached out to me and said, you know, hey, Ed, would you would you like to do a review on this? We're looking for for some YouTubers to, to do some reviews on our products. And, and so I, I went through the, the stuff to become part of their, their program and, and man, <laughs> They have been really great, and this thing is cool. I should have got it a long time ago, and I'm being serious. I'm not even, you know, I'm not doing the whole YouTube sponsored content, blah, blah stuff. I'm being serious. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, transparent, no matter what happens, um, this thing's worth your time. If you need to look inside of engines or get down, I've used, uh, not this one, but I've used endoscopes like this to verify whether or not my uh, exhaust bolts are broken on my other truck. Um, I used to get down into drain pipes in the house. This stuff, you need to have one of these laying around. If you don't have one already, you're gonna use it. There's gonna be times where you don't have another choice. This thing's gonna save your butt to get into those places where you can't see. I've used it to, to diagnose blockages in my air conditioning system inside the house. Right, so these things are a lifesaver, and this one in particular for 60 bucks, I mean, you're gonna pay 20, 25, 30 for one of the, I, the, the, the phone ones connected, and this is so much more convenient. It's got cameras on the side lights. Got, I, got, I, got, I, I am sure that I am rambling on, and I don't really need to, because you, know, you guys are gonna think I'm a shill, and I'm not trying to be. I really am just that impressed. Okay, so, uh, again, fog, your engines, guys. If you're gonna if you're gonna leave them sitting out in the weather again, three years, no tarp, New Mexico sun, brutal, guys. It's brutal sitting out here like this. I tell you, it's brutal. All right, you guys gotta fog your engines. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, gripes, internet ramblings, wanna call me a sellout? Comment below. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.